Welcome back. So let's say you have a VPN service provider and you're happy with it, but you're not happy with the client software that they provide. In my case, it's CyberGhost and the application on Windows 10 is quite buggy. And so the solution to this problem would be to use a generic VPN client called OpenVPN. And this is how it looks like. It's a very simple, straightforward user interface. You select the country that you want to connect to and you connect it with a single button. Now, in order for this OpenVPN to work, you have to export certificate key from CyberGhost or your own VPN into the OpenVPN. And here is how it looks like on CyberGhost. It might look different on your case. I go into my devices sign in go into my devices i select the device where i want to use this vpn and at the bottom it says login credentials for <clears throat> open vpn under so this tool that you see in front of you is what we're going to use to create certificate files that we will put inside the open vpn configuration folder the protocol is always going to be UDP under country. I select the country that I will connect with OpenVPN. And under username and password, <clears throat> you will have a username and password. You do not see my username because I'm hiding it, but you will have something. And this username and password is different. It is not the same as your cyber ghost vpn credentials it is different it is un going to be unique for open vpn and it is always going to remain the same now that i've selected this configuration tool options i'm going to click download configuration and that is going to download a zip file that will contain four files the certificate authority, client certificate, client key, and openvpn.openvpn. The first three files, the certificate keys, are standard files. They are going to be the same. In future, when I download other countries, they are going to come with the same certificate keys. But I only need one copy of each, okay? So this openvpn.ovpn is the actual config file for United States of America. Now I'm going to rename this to CyberGhost USA so I will be able to easily to tell that this is for USA. Now let's say I want to connect uh, also to other countries, not just USA. And let's say Ukraine is the choice. A uh, username and password is going to be the same. All you need to do is click download configuration. And what you will see is again, the same in a zip new zip file, you will have the same certificate files and open VPN or VPN. This time it is for Ukraine. So rename that one to CG Ukraine. Uh, at this point, you're going to have uh two zip files with this content and you just want to merge those here and at this point you will have something like this one config file for usa one for ukraine and you only need to co uh, save one copy of these key files like i said they are going to be the same now that you have the collection of these files and by the way you could add as many countries as you want and end up having lots of OVPN files here now that you have this it's time to download the openvpn client google download openvpn downloads under install windows 7 and later click the executable file install it with default settings and before you launch the OpenVPN client, open, open the C program files, OpenVPN config folder, and 
copy and paste whatever you downloaded earlier into this config folder. And at the end, you're going to have one copy of these key files as well as individual configuration file for each country. Now, if you notice, when I right click on the OpenVPN client, you see CG Romania, Switzerland, Ukraine, etc. These options are named after the names that you gave to the files. That's why it's so important to properly name these files. Once you have this, the only else, the only thing else remaining is to connect. And once you connect, it will ask for your username and password. And it is the separate username and password. Once again, this is not the same as your CyberGhost VPN and VPN credentials. Once you enter those, you can select OpenVPN to save the credentials. So next time it will not ask again. That's how simple and straightforward this is. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you enjoy other similar content, check out the description section. I have a bonus content for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.